Wait, go back. That's what I thought he said. The Prophet of Regret is planning to activate Halo. Are you sure? I shall light this holy ring, release its cleansing flame, and burn a path into the divine beyond! Pretty much. Commander, we've got a problem. So I hear. But from what I understand, the Prophet will need an object, the Index, to activate the ring. I've located a library similar to the one you found on the first Halo. If the rings work the same way, the Index should be inside. I'll bet the Covenant are thinking the exact same thing. Then we better beat them to it, Sergeant. Extract your men and meet me at the library. Yes, ma'am. I'll secure the Index, Chief. You take out the Prophet. He's given us all the intel we need. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to episode 7 of my Halo 2 playthrough series on the original Xbox. I've been playing through uh, Halo 2 on the original Xbox console, original hardware. And this is the level Regret. It's kind of a... It's really like the second part to uh, Delta Halo. You know, a lot of the missions in this game are, feel like they just kind of took a long mission and then split it in half and called it two missions, <laughs> you know, but the, the story about them uh, having to cut like a third of the game due to time constraints because of all the stuff that happened early on with the Halo 2 E3 demo that cost them a bunch of, like a year and a half of development time. So they ended up having to cut a lot. So the game feels shorter than the other ones, you know, but it's still pretty long. You know, the, I think part of the, the feeling of shortness is contributed to by the fact that this was the first game that had no loading screens, uh, if you played straight through, but that was also the reason that there was, uh, the graphical pop in that you would get on this original version so like you know if we play straight through to you you won't see it as much because I'm doing a video at a time and it actually loads in uh, you know everything before it starts but if you were to play it straight through then when it goes from one mission to the next there's no load screens and so because of that you get the the pop in you know where it can't stream the graphics fast enough to keep up but uh but otherwise you know it's, it's still a good looking game it's got got good length to it as far as the campaign you know i would have loved to see all the missing content but you know it is what it is so on this mission we're trying to hunt down the prophet of regret which is one of the three Covenant Prophets and uh, basically on this on another Halo ring which is pretty cool first time in the game that that you get to go to another Halo ring but uh, let's get into it I always stay back here in this area at the beginning on Legendary to deal with these elites you know and use this uh, this beam rifle to take them out like that so we'll kill there's the buggers in there and then we'll kill the elites and then uh, some more elites will come out and then we'll be able to leave this area and then we get to have fun with uh, jackal snipers that elite die? I can't tell. Oh. <laughs> oh that was terrible. You gotta watch those buggers, especially on legendary, because with those plasma pistols, they're pretty deadly. Also, I want to give a, a, a shout out to uh, 
another YouTuber, uh, Uncooked Moa. Uh, he left a comment on my last video pointing out that, uh, and something, as long as I played, I never even realized this, but he, was, he pointed out that because I have my Xbox on the console settings set to, uh, Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, that's not what I was trying to do. There we go. It's not here. But he pointed out that because I have my console settings on my original Xbox set to widescreen, and because Halo uh, 1 and 2, a lot of the early... Uh, original Xbox games were developed in a native 4x3 or square format that what was actually happening was it was squishing the graphics to where like it makes the, the Master Chiefs and other characters heads look like skinnier if that makes sense than they normally are and I actually noticed this I went and watched one of my last video and did a I recorded, I set it, my Xbox to uh, normal, which is uh, 4x3 or square aspect ratio. And I recorded a video of the opening uh, cutscene for the Delta Halo mission. And then I played it side by side with the video I have already made and uploaded. And you can tell how everybody, including the Master Chief's head, looks more round and wide with it set to the proper aspect ratio and another thing i didn't notice was that the uh the cutscenes, uh when you have the console set to widescreen uh you know they don't have the black bars whereas on uh if you have it set to the four by three or square aspect ratio it has black bars so that was interesting too so big shout out to him for pointing that out and a lot, you know, so that I could fix that issue. So I've got it set that way now and it looks normal. I wish I'd known about that sooner, but you know, it's, it's not too big of a deal. <laughs> These guys. Caught him slipping. There we go. That checkpoint. You know, I think the forerunners built these new structures around the old to protect them, honor them. Pure speculation, mind you. I need to make a thorough survey to be sure. What Cortana just said is also pretty interesting because if you read in the Halo books and the novels, especially the uh, the Forerunner Saga, or I think that's what they called it, the Forerunner Saga. It was three novels uh, by Greg Bear. There was uh, Cryptum, Primordium, and Salentum. Basically, it's the story of 343 Guilty Spark, you know, and how he was, well, I guess spoiler if you haven't read them books <laughs> and you want to but uh basically it's a story of how how guilty spark was uh originally an ancient human that the forerunners had put on the halo rings and so you had these uh, these colonies or civilizations of, of ancient humans living, you know, uh, on these rings. And so that's probably what she's referencing. These uh, structures were built probably by those ancient ancient humans or ancient civilizations. Uh, there we go. Gotta watch them. Catch you slipping.
Oh, and he got me. I don't even know if that was the one I was looking at that killed me. I could have very well been a different one. I'm gonna use up this one before I switch. Oh, there's one. That's so crazy how it. Oh. <laughs> shot out of it. I know there's there's several of those jackal snipers. Oh yeah, there he is. Anybody who's watched any of my videos regularly as or as they've come out will notice that it's been the last this video and then the last video and the one before that it's been a pretty good time gap in between them and that's because I play these games on my original uh, Sony Trinitron uh, CRT uh, tube TV. It's one of the last uh, tube televisions that Sony made, and it's a uh, it's a widescreen, high definition. It does a max resolution of 720p, but it's a, a widescreen, high definition tube TV, and uh, it's a really nice TV. But I started having problems with it back in like November, and. Uh, so I, I tried working on it and I got some of it fixed and uh look at this guy. But then I had some other problems with it and then it's kind of one thing led to another type of deal. And I even I was gonna try playing on one of my L C D one of my flat screens instead of playing on this and it just didn't feel the same. Like I just I don't even want to play this <laughs> if it's not on you know the ki the kind of TV it was meant to be played on you know or at least from my my opinion you know which is a, a CRT or tube TV it's just everything looks so much it's smoother the colors pop way better oh, that's funny that grunt stuck that elite because <laughs> when I shot him he stood up oh look at this guy Uh, those, those plasma rifles drop your shields so freaking fast. Look at that. Elite. I think I got a checkpoint. push this way but I think there's gonna be some more guys that are gonna come out yeah oh there's a sniper yeah and then there's guys over here trading 
Now what I always do here, there's a, you can make your way, there's another room or whatever. Or you can skip it. Oh, also, real quick, uh, if you come back here, go around this rubble, there's some uh, carbine, covenant carbine ammo. Where if you're getting low. But if you come up here, and you jump on this pillar here, then you can jump up here. Now, you really need to get there, but there's gonna be a bunch of snipers spawn that'll kill you really fast. So it's actually better if you go around the building. That way you can kinda catch this corner and not be completely exposed. Cause you'll see them. And there's a sniper up here to help out. But, see that gondola's gonna, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Just ran up and headshot me. Of course. Oh god. Keep trying to go to the left and I can't go to the left. Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're just sitting there shooting the friggin. It's so terrible how ridiculously accurate the Jackal snipers are. In this freaking game. He's taking those shots like a champ. Crazy. I think that's all of them. So we just come around here and then jump down. And then there's gonna be a drop ship with uh, a couple of hunters. Good thing is we get all the sniper ammo from these jackals. I see that this is where we were. That's what I was talking about. If you were, if you got up there and went that way. Then you get killed. There's the hunters. Sometimes you can get them stuck in that middle section. And take them out pretty quick. But of course, as in with Halo 1, the goal is to shoot them in their, uh, the orange spot spots, because that's the actual, uh, the worms of the Lek Golo. You know, because the hunter is just a colony of worms. These alien worms that are together, that's why they look that way. If you look at their, uh, it looks like rows. So you hit them in the, in the worm and that takes them on out. Of course in Halo 1, you just took one shot to the back and Halo 2, they wanted them to be a more form formidable foe. So they changed that. Because it's like in Halo 1, it was so easy. You do the little rope-a-dope where you let them come at you and swing. And then you circle around behind them and pop them one time. So it's like they went from being one of the 
most dangerous, you know, when the game first came out and then everybody figured out how to kill them and they were just easy. This guy here. I'm trying to get a good angle on him. But he's just staying in front of me. Like, usually, like, if you can... Kinda... Sometimes you can get them stuck in the middle. Right there. There's one. Normally this fight wouldn't take this long, but I'm kind of... You know, try, just trying to get him at a good angle. I could just spam him with shots. Yeah, that works too. Yeah, that's how it's not. See how he's just... <laughs> so you can just sit there and... Throw grenades at him. Oh, he got out. So I'm rerouting a few stragglers back to you. I apologize. These pelicans are all the support you're gonna get. Understood, ma'am. It's funny is I've been actually planning on making this video for uh, the last couple of weeks, and it's been a situation where had made I made some changes to my my old workstation PC that I used for making videos and streaming and then I did a uh, I bought a new a launching from the high end towers. gaming PC Big like surprise. it's full of covenant reinforcements with a uh, 3080 and I was mainly my goal was just to use that for a gaming PC so I still had kind of had it stuck in my head that I was gonna use uh, my workstation PC for recording videos and stuff and I ended up using my having to use my gaming PC my new one to record this video but I was sitting there, I spent a lot of time in uh, the settings trying to make the, the color and everything of the video that I was recording look the same as it does on my, uh, my Sony uh, tube TV and it's just, it was, it's not, I couldn't do it. It's, it's not possible. It's not that it's not possible, but well, nice even if I could get alive. it close enough, I couldn't tell because the, the the monitor that I'm looking at when I'm doing that doesn't have, you know, can't produce the same quality of color and all that that, uh, that this tube TV can. I can't remember if this is the... No, okay. I was thinking maybe there's a rocket launcher on this part, but it's the next gondola ride. But yeah, I tried to get it as close as I could as far as like color and, and all that, but... Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of spoiled with this TV. Oh. Forgot about the buggers.
This lake couldn't have been formed by volcanic action, which means it was either built this way on purpose or was created by some other cataclysmic event. I'm sorry, were you trying to kill something? No. Oh. Jeez, man. Freaking needler shots. Choose life, dude. Yeah, so when I shoot, I try to hit stuff. Where'd they go? Oh, there it is. Heads up! So I think this uh, next building maybe is the one with the skull. I'll check. Oh. Oh, it went <laughs> it went through the friggin' walkway. Yeah, I think it is this one. Let's go, super friends. So we're going to jump up on here. And then we're going to crouch jump to get up here. Turn our flashlight on. Come out here. I need ammo. And jump here. Mess them up good. Crouch jump up here. Okay, this is the assassin's goal. Which I think it makes all the elites invisible. <laughs> Which we don't want. Crouch jump up here. And you see these two invisible elites down here dancing around the skull right there. So. I'm not going to pick it up because the way skulls work in the original game in Halo 2, unlike. Master Chief Collection, where you can go and turn them on and off whenever you get ready. This game, you pick up a skull, it's on and activated until the console is turned off. And we don't want a bunch of invisible elites. So, I wouldn't mind one of those swords, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. So we we'll just jump back up here, make our way back around. There we go. Come here. 
Together, yeah! Sure. There we go. What's the matter here, Mongo? I'm worrying with that sniper rifles. Yeah, Pretty on point. Trying. Is that it? Is there another one hiding, probably. Oh yeah, I see. Well Wait to light him up, sir. Ah, now I see. There's a submerged section that connects these towers to the outlying structures. Looks like we're going down. Unless you'd prefer to swim. Full car coming up! I was hoping there'd be like a carbine or something up here since I'm out of ammo from a BR. Oh, watch out, Marie. My bad. <laughs> Oops. Disappeared into the ether. <laughs> I don't know where that uh, thing went. You staying here? What are you doing? I was trying to see if that marine that I accidentally killed had a decent weapon. But I guess not. Or did he not die? I see two of them in there. Maybe he didn't die. I don't see his body. I always like this part. Taking the submarine ride. It's pretty cool. A secure transmission from the <laughs> red carrier outside. to something called High Charity. It seems to be a formal apology to the prophets of truth and mercy. Apparently, Regret jumped the gun when he attacked Earth. He's asking the other prophets to forgive his premature arrival, arguing that no human presence was foretold. That explains why there were so few ships in his fleet. But it's odd a prophet would have such bad intel about his enemy's homeworld. So this part's kind of tough. There's a big room 
Well, there's a bunch of sniper jackals, elites, and hunters. Although you don't necessarily have to... There we go. Have to fight the, the hunters. You know, you can kind of get through with without messing with them if you want to. And then you've got these little rooms here. Hey mate, we got company. All right, what do you want? See all the fish swimming out. <laughs> the fishes. It's kind of cool how it has that like reflection from the water for its time. That's pretty cool stuff. Being how old this game is. So this is the room I was talking about. So there's one of them. There's some. I think there's some buggers in here too. Yeah. See what these Marines. These Marines are really. But man, they're earning their paycheck today. So you gotta watch out for the. So I'm gonna go to the other side because there's actually two entrances. You can see he's getting shot by one of those snipers. How I kill him. And I think more of them come into the room later, too. Or the snipers. heard the door open so maybe that was oh that, that was that door open I think you gotta get like halfway into the room because there's a door that opens down as long as it takes Sniper is dead. Danger is nigh. Brother. Yeah, there's the <laughs> there's the hunters.
I might try to go ahead and take out those hunters. Because I think that's... I hope that's all the... Shackle snipers. But a bunch of enemies are going to come out the other end. Whenever I get to the end. So I'd rather not have to fight the... Hunters. I hear a bugger somewhere. <laughs> oh, they got to take. Die. Can't hit him in any of his soft spots. bugger is I keep hearing. Alright, where'd he go? There he is. Jeez, finally. Must be up on the ceiling somewhere. Demon player scatter. so crazy how accurate they made everybody on legendary right, come on now I still hear that bugger somewhere oh there he is He's stuck I think I'm gonna be able to hit him It is well hidden.
So in this next room, we got invisible guys. There's an elite. An elite tank. Jesus. Freaking. just dropped about 15 frames <laughs> per second. I don't know if it's the water or what. Frame rate in these hall with these little four doors or whatever you call them is always terrible. are coming. Alright. So we're almost there. Back into the water we go. Regret's carrier just received a response from High Charity. A very well encrypted message from the Prophet of Truth. Listen to this. Your haste has jeopardized the fulfillment of our covenant, threatened our grand design. That you shall be spared a public display of our contempt is thanks only to Mercy and his wise counsel. Truth, mercy, regret. Three prophet hierarchs. Killing regret should shake up the covenant leadership. But frankly, it sounds like you might be doing truth a favor. Swords are fun. Oh, wait a minute. I meant to pick up the sniper rifle. Need that snipper. Oh. Oh. I realized that thing only had tiny amount of Great ammo. journey. Doesn't he know what these rings do? I don't think he does, Cortana. <laughs> I 
god. Fulfilled. Great journey. Doesn't he know what these rings do? I thought he was dead. <laughs> Jump up here, but you gotta be quick because those friggin' projectiles, sn snipers. Oh, see. What do we do? The Lord, what do we do? He died. There was a jackal sniper right there, but I heard him, but I don't know what he died from. So if you go through here, there's going to be a drop ship. Drop some guys off. Always go over this big rock right here. Come around here. Get right here. Just wait for the drop ship to leave.
Gonna be a couple of elites, some uh, grunts, jackals. Oh my god. Hate it when that happens when they move like right at the moment that you're about to shoot them. Jackals down here. Yep. Maybe one or two. I can't remember exactly how many. And then, if you go straight to where my aim and reticule is, to kind of to the left around that rock, there, there's going to be a. Gondola. Looks like it leads straight to the main temple. Not much. Going to be now. a jackal sniper, and then there's going to be some jackals, and then grunts that come from the gondola. Almost got one off on me. So what I always do is because there's going to be some uh, banshees in the next spot. So, but you still want your sniper. So what I do is I just do this. Just walk forward while holding the X, and it'll kind of throw it. I think I showed this in a previous video, but uh, that way you can have all the weapons you want on board the gondola with you. So like even if you wanted another sniper, you know, we could do it like this. And then there's some more ammo for that. I don't care about that. So now we've got Pockets, two different kinds of snipers, BR. Or actually, did I get? Yeah, okay, so. I'm here. So, far, so, good. We're approaching the main so now we gotta up. watch for the. Roger that. I'm as close to the library as I can get. There's some sort of barrier. We're trying to find a way around it. I'll keep you posted. And then this gondola is going to have uh, jetpack elites. So you got to be careful. And.
Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Almost stuck myself. That was terrible. And then this is the final, final uh, building where you fight the prophet of regret. anyone's ever seen. Get inside the temple and kill regret before it can stop us. So this part, oh, especially on Legendary, can be pretty difficult because the way it works is when you get in this room, the Prophet of Regret is going to be riding around in this floating chair that also shoots laser beams and teleports. And you've got kind of a, a multi-dimension, you know, leveled room with... Uh, bridges and catwalks uh, you know at different levels ramps and everything and he's gonna you're gonna have to you know get close to him board him chief will jump up on the chair and then you start punching him with the b button which is pretty hilarious there's no time chief get inside and take care of but the whenever that happens uh you can only get a few licks in and then he'll jump off and uh or he'll force you off he'll teleport or do like this light thing and then you got to go board him again the problem is that the whole time you're doing this he's flooding the room with honor guards and you'll end up you know they'll just never-ending waves of them and you get you have to do that mounting and meleeing thing like five I think it's like seven times You are no warrior. He's over here. So, a lot of noob combo in this part works really well. You want to kill the The Covenant fleet has launched multiple waves of phantoms. Too many for me to track. We don't have much You want to kill the ones with Oh, where did he come from? How many is that now? So you got to do that melee thing like five to seven times. And while you're fighting all these honor guards. So what I always do is retreat back to this main room once we get it cleared. The Covenant Fleet has launched multiple waves of phantoms. Too many for me to track, and we don't have much time. So there's one of the 
honor guards. There are honor guards all yes, over there this are. place. Watch your back. This guy here is still alive. That's him back there in his chair. So every time he says that warriors attack, that means that there's gonna be freaking. Oh, I missed my jump. That means there's gonna be honor guards coming after you and grunts. So you get like four hits on him. So what I always do is kind of reach, retreat and regroup back here to the opening. One thing I don't know for sure is if if they just continually spawn. Those get those are the guys you got to watch out for because they kill you so fast with those stupid uh, plasma rifles. Oh my god. Yeah, so I don't know if you can kill. The great journey will not be postponed. Maybe this one will put up. Guards, remove this vermin from my sight. See, I think they just keep coming. Cause it don't seem to be a end in sight. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if there's any more battle rifle ammo over here or not. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, I forgot there's a fuel rod cannon. Of course, it's not very useful on legendary against elites. Yeah. 
Oh. He's talking shit. So that's three. Like I said, I can't remember if it's... I can't remember how many... I think that's four. Four times. The good thing is that how he's kind of hanging. <laughs> he almost got tripped up. That was funny. But the way he's like hanging out up here is good. are turning around the fleet is preparing to fire on our position we need to get out of here all right well that's it appreciate y'all watching if you enjoyed it hit a uh toss me a like if you want to see more hit that subscribe i appreciate it i'm gonna let this play out and uh see you next time